Hi there and welcome to the September weather video from UMETSAT. I'm Mark Higgins, one of the training officers here at UMETSAT. This is the first month of meteorological autumn, so for record keeping we use September, October, November as the autumn months. And what we're starting to see here at the beginning of the month is the real shift in the seasons. You'll start to see the weather systems coming in across the Atlantic. At the beginning of the month, they're starting to move just over the north of the UK, leaving uh, Central and Western Europe a little bit clearer. Some quite nice days at the start of September. So Southern UK, France, Spain, we're all reporting some really pleasant end of summer weather. That'll change as we move on through the months. But you can see here a lot of green area on this particular satellite product. Uh, the green does vary according to the vegetation status. And you'll see that can change when there are drier periods, the ground will become browner in colour. Autumn tends to be marked by quite changeable weather. We can have some nice days, we can have days when there's a lot more wind and rain. And this is really what we're starting to see in these weather patterns as we see the month progress. So we're starting to see more and more of those weather systems actually now starting to come in across Europe. So we're seeing the bands of rain coming across. We haven't experienced the first big storms yet at this point, but the weather is becoming distinctly changeable. Interesting phenomenon just over Turkey, right in the middle of Turkey you'll see a very small green spot. That's actually not a cloud or snow, obviously for this time of year. What that is, is a salt lake that's dried out. So what you're seeing there is a reflection from the salt and it shows up in a similar way to ice. So it looks like the ice clouds do. The first big storm of the month came in across the Atlantic, coming in across Western Europe on the night of the 14th. And here's when we can start to see that storm coming across the UK. Very high winds, very strong rain, quite significant rainfall across the UK on the 14th. And then France, Benelux, Germany, Denmark on the 15th. And you can see that real low pressure center just over the North UK, that swirling, uh, tight low pressure center there which was the center of the storm and just the extent of it covering masses of Western Europe. These storms are driven by the position of the jet stream and the jet stream in general moves north and south during the year. So during the summer it's pushed much further north so these weather systems stay in the Arctic regions and in the winter months or the autumn months it comes further south and so we in particularly in the northern parts of Europe experience those storms as they come across so they, the storms are driven by the jet stream the position of the jet stream is a function of the boundary between the warm southern air and the much colder arctic air So looking here at the 19th, just looking off the coast of Spain and Portugal, you can see a lot of low-level marine stratocumulus clouds. And if you look very carefully in those clouds, sometimes you can see some very thin, straight lines that would look like aeroplane contrails, but aren't. What they are is possibly ship trails. The particulates that come from the ships as they move through, they cause a slight seeding and you can sometimes see those in the clouds. Also at this time we're seeing a lot of that low level cloud, the white clouds in this image. Some of it is very low, some of it is fog. So you'll see just in the channel between England and France at this point, that's probably some very low cloud, probably fog, which of course would be a hazard for shipping as well as um, aviation in that region because it's a very, very busy aviation route. Here again on the 23rd, a lot of low cloud around Europe. 
You could see there in the centre of England some of that lower cloud, possibly fog. From a weather forecasting perspective, uh, the ability to forecast these variations is actually a little bit higher. Summer rainfall, convective storms is much, much harder to forecast than these bigger weather systems that come across. Part of the reason these bigger weather systems are easier to forecast is the amount of satellite data that is available and also the quality of the numerical weather prediction uh, that's done by a lot of the weather centres in Europe and the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasting. A lot of clouds, some light rain would have been experienced on these days and people would have experienced that change in season, so cooling temperatures and we also would have started to experience the change in the length of day. So what we have for September is a start to autumn, so a changeable month, some really nice, pleasant days, sunshine, some significant showers, and you can see the changeability that marks the start of autumn.